Greetings, fellow gaming beasts. It's the Epic Beastie Gamer, and it is time for... <laughs> Greetings, gaming beasts. It's the Epic Beastie Gamer here, and it's time for some Lost Dungeons. Running it as Ragnarok, my dual class mage, sorcerer, slash hunter, archer. Level 261. These dungeons are level 310 and 312. So I've got three keys to use. It's time to go and rain the pain. I've set this class up so that it's got quite a bit of hit points. A bit tanky. I've also got a Medusa helm infuse. So I will freeze enemies as you will see. I've been playing on Reincarnation 10, grinding the levels out there. It's very, very important as a glass cannon primarily not to get too close to the builds. I've sacrificed hundreds of thousands of damage though just to get some extra vitality on my gear. Because these mobs do not play around. They even smell you you'll die long before they get near you so it's important just to start yeah this is a very very dangerous level it's nasty because they are right on top of the entrance and they've got skeleton mages and they've got poison clouds so it's very very dangerous here so i'm just going to blanket napalm everything before it even gets near me now as you can see they are level 310 as per the dungeon key all right they're getting too close definitely crank up the damage here but then you risk one shotting from them so with only 46k damage allowed yeah yeah these are the nasty guys those spiders if you carry on walking after they leave their poison cloud behind it's seriously dangerous there's a cloud just ahead i want to stay very far away from that waiting until it dissipates and these skeleton mages with their range attacks are also very nasty. But, just slowly and carefully you can get through it. Alright, mages. Whoa, whoa. I'm not quite sure how that's getting through. Let me just check this quickly. This is a word of advice for anyone who resets or starts at any stage. Just be sure to set your build up again because there's a glitch on this particular version which doesn't set your skill abilities and so on as high as they should be for some reason. I found that. Uh, that seems to be working a whole lot better now. If you seem to be doing a lot less damage, just check that out. It's worth it. At the moment, my primary skill, which is just for speed, is that. Multi-missile. I can crank up a lot of extra abilities, but I'm not going to do that for now. And then, of course, Storm, which I usually use, but for speed, I'm going to rather be using this. Storm is excellent for eradicating elites, especially if they've got block missile bubbles over them. Those auras. Ah, there it is, right ahead. Just speaking of it, and here's one. Alright, now hopefully. 
if you go in for one of these shields, you have to get right up close, which is not ideal for this kind of glass cannon kite build. And in fact, just for the sake of this particular playthrough video, I'm going to add a storm rather. Alright, here they come. This could be the end of me because these are mages and they're shielded. So let's see what that does. Come and get it, guys. It's time to run. Now, interestingly, Storm goes through their shields, so that doesn't block missile. Alright, these guys are not stopping. They determined to get me, so that's too slow. I'm going to go back to this, and hopefully be able to get them before they take me out, because there's nowhere else to run here now. Alright, that was a close shave. These mobs are way beyond my current pay grade. It's very dangerous playing at this kind of level. Let's see what's in this direction here. Alright, that's me done. Just one hit from those mages. Bam! Those mages are a real pain. Time to try another one. Now, because my arm is already fully repaired, just that little damage there, I'm not even going to the blacksmith. I'm good to go for at least a few more shots before it needs to be repaired. Let's see. With any luck, I won't be in a cave again. Caves are not the ideal place for this build. There we go, that's a whole lot better. Mm. Arcane passageways, let's see. Going out into open spaces like this is definitely not a good career move. You get swarmed from all directions. Yeah. I could put on a slow aura and remove my freeze and equip a shield that gives me an extra 3 2 abilities because it's 2 and 2. But I've gone for my freeze build instead. This is already faster than the entire level 3 of. This to play there. Sixteen percent, right? Healers will test you, especially these ones. I mean, that is crazy. How on earth are you supposed to take out one of these guys? Don't let him get close. Yeah. When you get a healer mob along with other elites, it's ridiculously overpowered because you can't actually get rid of the, the elites. They keep getting healed by the other pack. I'm running out of space. Can we do it? Come on. Come on. Pump up that last damage. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, talk about a close shave there. Yeah, that was overpowered, that mob there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm getting some nice gold here, though. I'll pick that up. Let's see what the gold's doing at the moment. 63 mil. It's coming on. Of course, upgrades are very expensive now. It's definitely worth getting as much gold as you can get your hands on. Ooh, yes, please. Cable light, thank you. That's very, very nice. I'll take that. For those who are not sure, cable light is basically a legendary ore. It counts as a legendary equipment piece. 
You can also break items and make them into cableite. It costs you 20,000 a shot. But if you're running out of space in your inventory or in your stash, then you can do that. Alright, these guys are also very dangerous. You want to stay far away from them. Hopefully, you don't get shot with their missiles. And those desecrators stay off those spots on the ground. They will end your career very quickly. I do love this freeze. It's worth losing ability points for when you're at this level. Later I won't even need it though. And I've cranked out loads of intellect levels. From what I understand the cap has been raised to 1000. So I've got a long way to go still. Certainly not quick to level here, which is good. You have to really earn your levels, I like that. Should I even get to the Magister at the end of this level? He's being a bit presumptuous because these guys could end me at any moment. The Magisters are unbelievably difficult. Alright. It's also not usually a good idea to go and touch these temples, these shrines, because they can spawn an elite pack all around you. Again, at this level, it's pretty much top level for mobs. And R10, as you can see, top right there. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, that was lucky. It definitely is a gamble. It's unfortunate that they put these shrines in areas far away from anything. So by the time you get there, as you can see now, there's nothing here. <laughs> So by the time I get around to using whatever buff I've got, it's gone with the mobs. As you can see, it's about to expire any moment now. I'm so busy looking at that, I'm not... Oh, come on. <laughs> and there it goes. Oh, that was useful, thanks. <laughs> Let's put it in the middle of nowhere so by the time you get to mobs, you don't have a buff. Yeah very good if they actually looked into that and put temples or shrines where you could actually benefit from them because that is uh, what I've noticed every single time take note devs that's an improvement you can make actually put shrines where they will benefit the people who use them well, unless this was your intention irritate people who are playing and never actually get to use the buffs and make them longer because that's also in fact that would just fix the issue right there if they just last a bit longer by the time you get to an area you can use them well, then at least you still have some time left on them just a suggestion again I have been playing this for a while I don't get to R10 quickly Of course, the first users of this were plowing through it because of all the bugs, getting heaps of infused items, and achievements were bugged and everything. Unfortunately for me, I only started after all of that had been fixed, so it was a long grind to get here. Oh no, this could be career ending right here. Mm -mm. Fire mobs, one of the very worst you can ever come across. As long as you stay far enough away from them though might survive them. Mm -hmm. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Oh. Get out of the way because they're also ranged. Could be a one hit here. Thank you, Freeze. You're helping me survive up to now. Can we do this? Come on. You must know what kind of hit points we're dealing with here because I'm cranking out 3 million plus on hits there. Again and again and again, and those mobs are just soaking the damage. Like this little walk in the park for them. Oh, very nice. All right, 60%. It's coming on. But don't get cocky here, guys. One mob is all it takes to get a missile through, and it's the end for glass cannons. Ah. Uh, 
Thanks, Dark Mage. That's your range. That's very, very nasty, that. Now, I could put on a Toxic Aura, but then I would lose my shield. I'm not planning to do that. This works nicely, having that. It's good damage reduction. Alright. I don't trust these maps showing that things have been cleared. Walking along and suddenly a zombie pops up or something. All it takes is one little nibble from that zombie on your big toe and it's the end. Scourges, yeah, very dangerous. I want to stay away from those guys, that's for sure. They're the toughest mobs that there are. Don't let them get swarming. Ah, ah, get out of the way quickly. Ah, oh, you're getting stuck here. Run, 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 run. Oh. That was a fortunate recovery. It's slow. Dangerous. Come on, drink your potions. Yeah. One more hit. One more hit. If it wasn't for this extra bit of vitality here, uh, I would have been gone long ago. Desecrator, yeah. A nasty piece of work. And with healers, you have to keep that pressure on them. Otherwise, you come back a moment later and they're fully regenerated. Yeah, this has been a grind in a bit. This is... Uh, Alright, I'm just dropping napalm everywhere. Carpet bomb these guys. I don't want them anywhere near me. 73%. We might get to see the Magister. Spawns at 85%. Unfortunately, for some reason, they think it's a joke to drop Magisters on your head at 85%. They will fall out of the ether and land right on top of you. So, be prepared for that because you can die immediately. So, when you see you're about to hit 85%, clear out of the way. Magus is going to come down and try and end you very quickly. And for some reason as well, the Magister takes half of your life away when it dies. So I've also noticed that. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that. Even if you're not next to it, it still does it. So it doesn't seem to be a cursed aura. Anybody knows more about that, you're welcome to leave a comment. 75%, 10% left. Can the Epic Beasties survive this Let's Play? Only level 261. Since they nerfed Legendary Drops, it's so difficult to grind up the levels. At the moment, that's my best wand. I've got one with a four slot, which is also good, but then I lose a lot. And usually I would take that off, but it gives me such a great amount of magic damage. Oh, these guys tank through that. It's amazing how tough they are, these Dark Knights. But I will take them any day over ranged. And then get some, you want this? <laughs> very, very dangerous creatures, those. Every single thing here is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like every step I take here is just borrowed time, basically. 4% left. Oh, we might get to see the Magister. I really hope so. After coming all this way through, if anyone's still following along. I have to grind the levels here. I certainly don't give them away. Oh, alright, then you come and grab sudden rush tricks on me like that. 2% left. I'm not even taking a little chance going too far ahead. 
Rangers, not good. Get out of the way. Come on, that Magister's about to arrive. No! Ah, get out the way. Yeah, that was a close shave there. Yo, 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 you want to stay away from that guy. He hits you, it's finished. Now, if I do manage to take this guy down, he will drop a higher level dungeon key. But you can see the kind of damage this punk is soaking. Like, no worries. Mm -hmm. Get out the way. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now get cocky, he'll break through. <laughs> Almost the permafreeze, but this guy is hardcore. If it wasn't for my insane DPS speed here. Alright, yes! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Alright, old key of time. Woo! That was a hectic, hectic run there. All right, everybody, I'll stop there. That was a nice three level. Uh, let's try that again. Uh -huh. 311 and 312 at least. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Remember, release your inner fun beast. Get out there and find that fun. Until next time, take care and destroy those beasts in the dungeon. Release your inner fun